Hello friends, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 13. Is it day 14? I don't know. I have a flying visit from a grumpy girl this morning. You were not grumpy at all when you got here. You were so happy. She was giggling. Look at her. She's like practically rolling her eyes looking at you like this is not true. She was giggling. She was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then she gave a rusk to the dog and she was pointing at him saying, there he is. You were the cutest. And now because you've had to sit with me while I do a little bit of work, you are apoplectic with rage. Have you ever seen a sadder baby? She's over there. Mm. She's over there. Mm. The sad baby. Are you going to see Manny? Mm. Are you going off mm. by yourself? Mm. <laughs> oh, look, you're so close. Oh, there you are. I'll see you later. Mm. I'll see you later then. Bye. Yeah. Hey. There he is. There he is. Did you hear something? She's just inspecting the tree making sure everything is as it should be. Where's the dog? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Isabella's gone to soft play with her dad, so back to work for me. Also, I'm so oily today because I'm literally just wearing face oil. I've got face oil on, a little bit of mascara, because I don't know, I think it makes a difference. Also, I did a little bit of brows because the pinkness in the brows is going crazy. Um, I have not washed my hair since Saturday, which I'm a I am I can only apologise for you having to look at thisness, this thisness. But the burn on my hand is freaking me out a little bit. I've, I took the big bandagey thing off that I had. Um, and I just put a plaster on it last night. Um, I don't want to talk about it because I know that it's going to give you like the ugh but it was not pretty. It's not your average burn. Um, so I think I want to put something waterproof on it or get Lee to wash my hair, which I'm not really keen on. I might get Ella to do it. <laughs> it's lunchtime, so I'm actually going to do a hair treatment. And then this evening I'm going to wash my hair. I know. Um, so the Olaplex, I got this in my Sephora haul this week. Uh, the Olaplex number three, and it said you use it on damp towel dried hair, generous amount, scalp to ends, minimum of 10 minutes. I'm going to leave it on for ages. It does say longer if if you like. Um, I'm going to use this entire thing. I'm guessing that that's, that's the idea. But I also got this Bondi Boost Intensive Spray. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It just has a leave-in formula. This could be a terrible idea, but I'm actually using this to spread it directly in my eye. Um, I use, I'm using this to dampen my hair because I'm not doing like a towel dried situation. But at least if this makes it a little bit damp, then I'm gonna cover it in the Olaplex and see what happens. Like I say, this could actually like totally go against each other, but that's that's how I do things. <laughs> oh, she wants you to do it. <laughs> it would seem I've taken to vlogging exclusively from my office now, but I don't hate it. And now look, look at the distance we've got. Look how higher up I am in my chair. <sighs> Tell you. These are quality of life upgrades, as you would say when talking about video games. So I realized yesterday I didn't open my present from Emma because we've got um, 12, so every other day I can open one. So today and tomorrow I can open one. The tag says that end of the day feeling. And I thought this was bra related, but it could also be makeup related. It's those makeup remover pads. 
like this. I like, do you know what's really weird? I threw a really old one away yesterday and I, did, I like, I can't remember where my other ones are. I was really like, mm, do I wanna throw this away? It was really raggedy. I was like, ah, maybe I'll just put it in the, in the washing machine. And now I have five rainbow new ones. Could not have come at a better time. Also, as you know, if you've been watching all week, I've been wearing a bit of makeup this week. The times they are changing. I always, there's two new years for me. I get a, a kind of new year feeling, obviously in December, like I'm getting excited about, um, getting excited about like, what we're gonna do next year? What are the, what are the changes I'm gonna make? What are the kind of goals and things that I wanna, what, what do I want from 2024? Um, I get a lot of that kind of like reflective stuff uh, at the end of the year, but I also have my end of summer, beginning of September, that feels very, let's do this. I wonder if it's because there's only a few months left of the year. I've always thought, well, it's because the school year, it's that like freshly job and pencil situation. Um, maybe it is partially because it, it was always a new year and I never really shook it. But I also think it's like, you've only got a little bit of time left. Let's have one last push. I'm rubbish at goals. I'm rubbish at like actually sticking to things and I never am down on myself for not completing things that I wanted to, but I do really enjoy um, like a season of excitement for a fresh start. Like, oh, let's get some notebooks. I was gonna order an Erin Condren planner, which I have been one to do in the past. I have ordered them previously, they're really expensive, um, but I was considering buying myself one. I think I might get either the monthly one or like just maybe some notebooks. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do like the full on planner because it feels wasteful. I'm not going to write in it every single day, but I do like to kind of have my month at a glance, um, especially since I've got a lot of content that I would like to make next year. I think I'm, I'd like to, I like the month at a glance to be like, how is that going to look? How am I going to space everything out? Um, I don't know. We'll see. How do you like to plan things? I'd quite like to do, um, like a live where we plan our plan our new year, maybe talk about resolutions and manifesting and goals and vision boards and all that stuff. So maybe, maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll plan a live. Would you guys be interested in that? Maybe this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hey, 